Welcome back guys to another beer review. Uh, it's red hot outside. I've had a couple of pale ales, just a couple of halves. But it's real lager weather now and it's red hot, so uh, I thought I'd bang in a cheeky beer review. This time, it's a German one which I can't pronounce. So we'll have a go. Initially, from Asda, £1.13 a bottle for a 500ml bottle. It's find a bloody percentage on it somewhere. 4.5% uh, and it's a bottle of uh, Feldschlobschlen or Feldschlo something shun lager uh, from Dresden apparently. Uh, coming in at 4.5% like I said half a litre bottle says on the back from Dresden but produced in France uh, so but at £1.15 a can or one thirteen a bottle I should say uh, I thought I'd pick it up try it I quite like the label typical sort of German sort of design lovely bottle cap if I can get that in there really cool so uh, let's get it open see what we get uh, I would like to think there ain't going to be any problems with it really for £1.15. Might not be the best larger going, but I'd like to think it's going to be okay. So let's see what we get. And there we go. Clear as a bell, look at that. I could do this review through the glass talking to you. Lots of carbonation, and it's not a carbon uh, nucleated glass. Let's move that out of the way. Finger, white creamy head. So let's get a nose on it. See what it looks like. It tastes like. It smells like. Let's start again. See what it smells like. Yeah, a bit of a typical sort of lagery sort of smell. I'd say it sort of smells like a lot of French lagers that I've had before. Even though it's Germany, but it's produced in France. I wouldn't say it smells fantastic, but it doesn't smell too bad, you know, it's certainly better than all the carlin stuff it smells like. Not really picking anything up on it really, just sort of, I suppose, hoppy sort of smell really. Maybe a bit of lemon in there, you know. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop waffling, you know, it's hot outside, I'm going to want to get out there, finish the, finish this, uh, finish the beer off, so let's crack on with the view, cheers. Yeah, there's a. It's probably the next step up from something like your box down to Carlin sort of beers, really. Let's go in again. Try and give me something else. Hoppy. Very, very subtle, sweet breadiness in there very subtle you know very subtle very 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 subtle sort of pepperiness in there uh, I mean it's okay it's gonna be drinkable it's gonna be downable certainly it's like about 25 degrees outside so it'd be okay but it just moves up from that horrible sort of tasting lager just just slightly in the next level because it does have just that little bit more in there but I mean it's going to be quaffable but there's not a lot in there if I'm totally honest it's okay it's okay though it's perfect for this sort of weather and that's all I can say really waste of money no I wouldn't say so you know Get it really nicely chilled. This is chilled, but it could probably be colder. A uh, bit more flavour than your bog standard ones. One pound thirteen for a pint bottle, more or less. It's okay. It does what it <laughs> it does what you sort of expect really for for a quid or just over. So uh, yeah, 
if you're in Asda, maybe pick one up, try it. I've had a lot worse than this. Like I said, it's only £1.13. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to comment if you've had it before. Please, uh, please tell me what you think of it. Uh, like the video if you want. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching, everyone. If you're having a cheeky one now, although a lot of you could be back at work, you know, if you're not enjoying a cheeky and you're enjoying a cheeky one, you know, enjoy what you're drinking. I'll enjoy finishing this off. It's not so terrible, you know. And uh, I'll see you again on another beer review. So, cheers.